Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 362, and I'm taking the last five days of the first 365 days worth of Dry Fire to share the five biggest lessons that I've learned in the last year after putting somewhere between 500 and 550 hours of Dry Fire in uh, to work on myself and occasionally to try to help you. Here's big lesson number two, and this might sting a little bit, but I invite you to really think it through. If we're not careful in our dry fire, and if we're not careful in a lot of our defensive firearms classes, we will wind up practicing a whole bunch for the sake of looking good at practicing. And I invite you to really think this through. In a defensive firearm encounter, is a draw to first shot really important? Yeah, it is. Um, I fully agree with most of those that analyze defensive encounters. And I fully agree that the first person to get a hit that matters really wins uh, most of the time. In fact, the vast majority of the time. Draw to first shot's a big deal. However, we're using handguns. And after that first shot, the likelihood of needing a second or third or fourth or more can be very, very real. So what do we have in our dry fire that helps us accomplish this? What do we have in our dry fire that helps us know what we are capable of in that moment? Now, I also fully understand and teach that we only do under stress what we pre-rehearse and pre-decide when not under stress, and that mastery of anything is a repetitive display of excellence of the fundamentals, and I understand that dry fire helps me get all of that, and I've experienced that. However, here's my point. Be very careful that you are not chasing a metric. Be very careful that you are not chasing a standard of some kind. What I want you to do is leverage your dry fire to do your best to create an a, a accurate assessment of who you are as a shooter. Not necessarily what you can do, but who you are. Are you the kind of person that's putting in the work consistently to face whatever threat you believe you might realistically face? Um, I understand the flip side of the coin here, by the way. Just side note, I understand that we cannot accurately predict uh, the time, the place, the circumstances, the weather, the lighting conditions, uh, the disparity of force. I, I understand we cannot predict all those things. <coughs> But as we look around the world around us, is your dry fire reflective of the protection that you want to provide for yourself and for others? Or are you chasing goals that reflect how much you've practiced? So I just really invite you to think this through and let this sink into your head and to, even into your heart for a moment. Be careful that we're not practicing for the sake of looking really, really good at practicing. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about big lesson number three, and it's actually going to be super encouraging, and I hope you'll hang out for it. I'll see you tomorrow.